So anyway, let's get started. So I don't know if you can see him in the camera there, but he's facing me on that side. The first few times I got him to hook onto me, I kind of had him hook onto me that way, just to give him the idea, because his attention is very much on that barn that he came out of over there, where his friend is, where his brother is. And just to give him the idea that facing me was the answer, I kind of hooked on, I got him to hook onto me facing that way, just to give him the idea, and then rest there a minute. Now I don't want him hooking on me. <laughs> Because you'll notice a minute ago he hooked onto me there, he, I was standing right in front of him and all of a sudden, oh, he screamed and hollered and stuck his head up over the top of me, in which case I sent him back to work right there. And his attention's starting to wander here now too, but he's blowing pretty good, so I'd really like to give him a rest right now. He's not very fit at all. And so he's going to go off again, so I'll just have to put him back to work. First time he's done that where he's rolled around here and stayed here. Every other time he's done it so far, he's rolled around and, and went off. And remember, I've changed sides right there and put him back to work. That was good. He's not pointing exactly at me. I might have him point at me right now by stepping over here. Like that. See, he just started to point at me. I don't know if you can see that over there, but he just started to point at me then. I really want to try to give him every opportunity to rest right now because he's blowing pretty hard, you know. Teaching these horses to hook onto you in the round pen is not about running them around until they're exhausted. But you do have to get them to run a little bit to get them to think about, okay, this is not that much fun, what else can I do? So you see, you know, I've been at this probably 10 minutes. When uh, Luis tried to catch him before, he didn't even want to look at Luis. <laughs> I'm just going to walk over here and we'll see if this horse will turn and point at me, okay? Like that. Very good. So now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so this is the horse that came over here with a stud chain on. Now he has the chain off, he doesn't even have a lead on. I just walked, he walked. I stopped, he stopped. I'll see if I can walk off and have him follow me again. Okay. So when I lead a horse, that's where I want him to lead. And when I stop, they should stop. Okay? If I go to go somewhere, they shouldn't try and beat me to where I'm going. When I walk, they wait for me to go, then they turn and follow me, just like that. When I stop, they stop. I don't have to say, ooh, easy boy, don't come near me. He should just be paying attention to that. You'll notice how low his head is now too. He's starting to relax, his head's hanging down. And there's not near as much yelling and screaming. There, uh, there will be more, but don't worry. But... <laughs> like that. But if I just step over, there we go. When I step over here, I'd like him to just roll around to me again. You can see he's starting to lick his lips a little bit. His head's relaxing down. See his head's over there. If I step here, there we go. Just wait till his head turns away. And I should be able to move and draw that head back to me. 
So we'll wait till he looks somewhere else. Like that. I'm just going to step side. There we go. See, I just moved over and I drew his head back to me. He's paying attention to me. That's probably all I'm going to do with him today. 10, 15 minutes, he's really wet, but he's learnt a lot today. Letting him sit right here is really good for him. Anyway, hopefully I'll get to show you some more of him along the way and you'll see how it progresses. Soon.